So here at Fraunhofer HHI in Berlin, we are working in the field of telecommunications and signal processing in a very broad understanding of the word. So in the traditional sense, we work here on 5G communications, mobile communications, on photonic components, photonic systems, um, video compression, video communication. Additionally, we have a very strong focus on advanced topics in the area of signal processing, such as artificial intelligence, computer vision, cognitive systems, and human-computer interaction. And one of the special aspects of HHI is that we unify all these topics under one roof. Our Nalamki project is a very good showcase of our expertise. In Nalamki, we are addressing the use of digital solutions for sustainable agriculture together with 10 project partners from industry and academia. We have drones flying over the fields, taking pictures, and we use our expertise in 5G to establish 5G networks to get the data onto computing devices. And then on the computing devices, we run our algorithms detection algorithms, recognition algorithms, to detect uh, plant diseases at a very early stage. And we also allow the farmer to interact with our recognition systems. And this, for example, allows farmers to use less pesticides, leading to a more sustainable agriculture. It is very important for us to apply the research we're doing. So in my group, we are aiming to bridge between fundamental insights, fundamental understandings to practical solutions that are relevant for society and for products as well. Take the Nalamki project as an example again. We are operating in an environment that is highly diverse and highly variant. So every farm is different, every field is different. It is virtually uncontrolled because it's nature. And so it's very challenging to gather data and use data in a meaningful and representative way. For us, it's not enough then to just prove that it's possible and it's working. We want to um, use our insights and our solutions as well to actually make the things work and to use this in practical and complex systems. Fraunhofer is a very huge organization with a very well-known name. This gives us visibility and the possibility to be recognized fairly easy. A part of that, the organizational synergies that we can leverage from being part in Fraunhofer is very helpful and very, very beneficial at many um, places as well. For example, we have internal funding schemes that we can participate also accessible with external partners from industry, from universities or Max Planck. And this is a very um, a luxury position, I would say. We have universities, we have um, non-university entities such as Fraunhofer, Leibniz, Helmholtz, Max Planck. And then we have private institutions, companies, startups doing research as well. This sort of um, specialization um, leads to some sort of division of work, of scientific work. So we have the universities that are doing research but also have the strong focus on education, giving lectures, building PhDs and such. We have um, organizations like Fraunhofer with this specific um, profile bridging from fundamentals to applications, practical, technical innovations and um, Max Planck, for example, with a, a focus more oriented towards fundamental research and um, then um, private institutions, companies with this business model driving, fueling and motivating the research. I would say welcome. If you are interested in perceptual or cognitive um, models in your products or human-centered approaches, just drop me a line.